talk. You talk. You talk. One, one second. One second. Hello, Juno. Ahi. Be a rock or be a. Kabish, I'm Kardam. Khushkel, be a hard one. No, whatever you want, park. Be a, be a, be a, be a. Be a bit angry. What the fuck do you do? The God, I read it too. Go, go, go. What the hell are you doing? I push him in a chicoy. You're burning the place down. Hey, hey, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Baba, you you felt the frustration of the miscommunication as soon as the movie started, and it gave me this sense of okay, they want me to be in this anxious bubble with them. They want me to be in this moment of tension, and I'm in it from the moment it turns on, and I'm feeling claustrophobic in this apartment with all this energy and all this anger bubbling and I want to know what's going to happen and you have this man who's unraveling and you have his son being the product of divorce and and you and you have him you know unwilling to take any accountability for for the things that he is doing that is pushing everyone away from him and in the ways he is allowing his life to sort of fall apart and so he calls his son over here, you know, essentially to act as a translator to stall his uh, leasing manager who is, you know, threatening to kick him out because he's been unruly and has been disrespectful. And it, it does seem like he's at a point now where it's like, I don't care about anything. I don't care who I offend. And th th that's usually coming from a dark place of depression, grief, and some for some people it manifests as sadness, and for some people it manifests as, as anger or just disrespect, just nonchalance, and this idea of what do I have to lose so I'm going to just live life recklessly, and it seems like that's where he is. There was so many moments um, the 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 character that comes in and buys the painting. Um, I was not, ex I mean, I was expecting him to steal because you could tell that he had like a sneakiness aspect to him. But the way in which he takes this painting and chooses to intimidate his son with, you know, use of the tongue and the kiss on the cheek with the knife to the neck, it's almost a very quiet aggression which I think would make me even more scared than your, your average, you know, brawlic, strong type of aggression. It's almost like, I don't know what this guy is capable of. I was very shocked in that moment. And, you know, I felt like the actor definitely played up uh, that moment and made it into such a, a fantastic moment. And you can see the effect it had on the, um, the sun um, after the fact. I mean, it does seem like the father is willing to unravel all the way to the end and it's unapologetic. And it isn't until he really, really realizes that, wow, I've lost everybody. I've tricked my leasing manager. I've managed to keep my, my apartment, but I've lost my ability to pay for it next month. I have no relationship with uh, the mother of my son because I've sold her painting and now she hates me even more than she already did and now I have no relationship with my son which was probably the last relationship that I've had and I think that in the moment he's living so in the moment that he's only thinking about the next second and I think that that very moment at the end of the film is when he kind of realizes it's like oh I really am alone right now and I really don't know what I'm going to do next month when this rent is due again I really don't know who I'm gonna call and I think that he kind of realizes in that moment when his son slaps him that my son is not coming back and I think that that's when the real loneliness hits Baba is a Iranian film sort of I believe it's a Canadian production and it echoes some of the themes uh, of previous Baba movies, uh, most notably uh, done uh, earlier by uh, 
Iranian uh, uh, Jews in um, Israel. And uh, so it deals with uh, the relationship between a young man and his father, hence Baba. Uh, the, the actual details of the plot uh, are, are, are interesting, but really what's at the heart of it is the bond between the father and the son and how that is tested, uh, tested in the old-fashioned way, like, oh, you're going out to parties, you're not serious about your studies, what am I, chopped liver? Uh, it, it, uh, it goes through all that. It goes through a range of emotions. Um, there's there's elements of modern um, challenges to the traditional Farsi way of life, and and how that plays out between the father and the son. The the father, by the way, being an artist and uh, or a framer at least, and and therefore. Uh, acutely aware of of different approaches to life and it appears that he's in a relationship with a, a non-farsi man as well so so it raises the question of is the father being hypocritical towards the son uh in admonishing him and the back and forth and the game playing make for a, an interesting character study. And uh, so I would think those uh, interested in the relationship with their own father and how the twists and turns have gone for other people, as well as uh, modern day uh, uh, Farsi speakers wondering what's happening to their culture this was intense amazing work it had some uncut gems vibe and i can't even think of a higher compliment the the writing the performances the cinematography the way it all just feels so tense uh the whole time uh just really brilliantly done um i can't think of a single thing i didn't love about this one really really strong um the scene in the hallway after the sale, pulling the knife, that, that was just fantastic. It was all really fantastic. I would highly recommend this film to uh, anyone. Really great job. Everyone involved should be really proud of themselves. I really loved this film. I thought you did a great job of balancing um, sentimental moments and heavier moments and comedy and drama. Um, I really sort of never knew where the story was going to go. I thought that the camera work in the film really reflected um, the emotional states of the characters, which I thought was really helpful. And I think that this was a really unique story and something that, you know, it's so specific, but it was also something that I feel like everybody can see an aspect of their relationship with their parents in. It felt really um, universal to me. This one had a lot of standout performances. I think the father and the son were just outstanding. The chemistry of their family dynamic and honestly their talent were just so good. Um, also the art thief himself like that switch of being this awkward person who doesn't want to come in i'm okay out here looking at the art you could tell something was up when he was kind of scamming him with the money but when he left with the art and then threatened the sun holy moly that change in tone incredible um and then the twist at the end i was actually waiting for him to kind of admit that he was faking it um and then it was satisfying because the son like stood up for himself and slapped him but i think the ultimate twist wasn't that he was faking but that he wasn't faking he very much used that as like a cover for his own emotions of like ah, ha, ha, he bought it <laughs> no no buried underneath it all what you just cried out was very very true um 
It was a very good performance. Baba hits deep and, uh, I definitely feel for the sun. The film does a very good job of chaos. Uh, so much is happening at once and I would have to watch it a second time but either the editing is very seamless or the cinematography has a large emphasis on long takes. Uh, there aren't a lot of uh, cuts from what I saw which creates a very long flowing motion where uh, this is all go there's no pause there's no break it's one thing after another and there are so many parties so many players and so many elements to it just trying to juggle and make sense of it all it's claustrophobic, it's chaotic, uh, it's insane. Uh, and I feel like for a lot of people it can also be relatable, um, having to deal with that dynamic and I, again, uh, I feel bad for the son because he's been forced into the middle of it all um, and he has he has to deal with a lot of shit <laughs> um, but yeah definitely enjoyed that one really really liked this one uh, great performances just all around in this film uh, and performances that showcased pretty significant range uh, the story was very chaotic. Uh, the shooting style was equally chaotic, uh, as was the way that they kind of designed the sets uh, and filmed and worked within them to tell the story. It all felt very claustrophobic, uh, very closed in, and I think all of that elevates the piece quite well. Um, the ending was also great. Uh, it does a good job of showcasing not just character growth for some people, uh, but also a lack of character growth for certain other characters, and I think that that works very well for the story in both regards. So again, it's it's a, a tough thing to pull off, but I think that it was executed very well here, uh, very tense, very interesting, uh, and quite fulfilling to watch at the end. It, it feels like a complete story, uh, despite being under 15 minutes long. So I, again, I admire that and I appreciate that, and I think that this film uh, was very, very good. Baba was really great. I mean, it was fast paced, um, but I feel like a lot of that, a lot of the pacing had to do with like the tension of the scene and you know, what's gonna happen next. Like really that feeling of being on the edge of your seat. Um, and you know, when a, when a story can do that and do it effectively um, and not have you be like, none of this makes sense. I think it's astounding. Um, this was a really interesting story with a great twist at the end, um, with some really dynamic characters. Um, you know, the character acting in this was really great. I think, um, each of the actors showed a lot of depth and a lot of range, um, especially the art thief, um, you know, going from kind of almost like a timid, anxious character to the end, kind of, kind of brutal. Um, it shows a lot of range and it was done well. Um, I, I really have to commend the acting in this. Uh, you guys did a stellar job. Um, the story overall was really interesting. Um, it definitely could have fallen flat. If you, if you had different actors, it, it could have fall, easily fallen flat. But this was such an intense story with, um, you know, such high-paced characters. Like, I... They, they just really blew this out of the park, and I'm, I'm really impressed. So very, very well done. 